Look underneath your... Right there, I'm looking at it. I'm going to take a look there. So, SAE is um, the Society of Automotive Engineers. They host a set of what they call the Collegiate Design Series where um, students will participate in some sort of a competition, whether it's Baja SAE or Formula or Super Mileage. Well, today we're just really uh, ironing out a few things. Yes, we need to. I like to, I like to play with things, I like to build things. I, very rarely do I buy something and leave it alone, I like to take it apart. Uh, cars, obviously they move under their own power, and the, the epitome of that is racing. Baja is uh, one of those events, and what we do is we design, uh, build, and race an off-road vehicle. Uh, today we are doing race preparation. So we're getting the cars ready to race, making sure there's no serious mechanical defects. And we're also doing some pit stops to get some practice on those. Just on those, there's a lot of time that can be um, lost and gained in the pits. Loosen those belts right. up. As soon as they're loose and out of the way, you jump in and you're going to start belting them in. Okay? okay. That was a little loose. Yeah. Hopefully try and give them a taste of the endurance race mindset. We're having them do a couple laps. We're getting ready for Midnight Mayhem. Midnight Mayhem. Mayhem. Midnight Mayhem. And then there will be a four-hour endurance race. Four hours. We're prepping for a nice four-hour endurance race that's going to be pretty crazy. Final preparations on this car, just doing bolt check, making sure everything uh, is secure and not going to fall off in the middle of the race. Where am I going? Never nervous. Everything's going to go flawlessly, and there's never any problems we have in Midnight Mayhem. <laughs> you're nervous if you're not prepared. We're, we're ready to go. Now we're at uh, Podium One Motoplex, which is where the race is being held. We've been here since about 8 this morning. It's a lot of fun. For newbies, it's a good place to test. It's pretty close, a ton of fun, Midnight Mayhem. That's going to be awesome. Well talked about in our organization. We've been coming for the last couple of years. I mean, nowhere else can you run in the dark with cars that we do this for. We race against, you see all the teams out here, it's awesome. So many teams here, so much fun. What are you thinking, Alex? Let's, let's drive and bleed them over there. Uh, one of our cars is still struggling to get through the brake check. Number 88. I need, a, I need some type of space. Uh, we call it the true. Number the best. They made us do it twice in a row, which is, that was fairly nerve-wracking, but... Come on! Yeah! 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 Woo! Yeah! 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 Woo! Yeah! Oh, that's how you do it! Yeah! Taping uh, the earbuds into my ears so they don't come out when I put the helmet on. Fill it up. Right. And we had to spread up 15 all the way up here, so it's at the top of this, so there's nobody down there. You can see it real good now? It's further away! Uh, the throttle cable. I think it might have popped in the back. Cause I got no, I got no response to the pedal. But the engine was still running.
mechanical malfunction with our throttle cable. The car stopped on track. Uh, we had to tow it back to the pits. We lost a lot of time while that happened. Uh, we're back out on track. Uh, the first lap was fast. Easily the fastest car out there, so we're still in it with number 88. slow in the mud. Uh, didn't expect that. Justin flipped it. I heard. We'll check it out when he comes in. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. We were very fast and competitive, and we actually were able to lap some of the slower cars. I saw you flip it over there. Yeah. How's the steering? It was just really fun. I, I managed to lap a few people. Didn't let many people by. It was fun. I Walking speed! Walking speed! What? Go, run! Go! Where's Brad at? Uh, we're coming up the long hill at the back. It just at the top, all of a sudden we started rolling back. It was, uh, power was just gone. Give me a three across. Here you go. We're done. We're done. We're done. Yeah, we're done. Well, uh, the CVT cover that Brad made earlier this week, uh, the bolts that were holding it on came free and uh, got inside on our transmission and kind of rattled things around and then breaking the parts in there. And um, I made the call to go ahead and just stop running that car because it's our new CVT for next year and I didn't want to damage it any further. That car started dead last. It was probably running first or second. It was up there running pretty quick. It's unfortunate, but uh, we got two other cars out there, so hopefully they can bring home the win. We entered three cars. It's important that we remember we're not three separate teams, we're all one team. This is a win for all of us. Car number 96, University of Louisville. I don't know what I'm doing. Go carry!